what's going on everybody getting right into a review today I had this company by the name of LQ Army reach out to me to see if I wanted to do a review on one of their rifle cases I did a lot of looking through their website uh, read some reviews on Amazon and I'll make sure and link this rifle case down below uh, directly to Amazon so you guys can take a look at it there check out the price and read some reviews on it but they sent me an email asking if I would do an honest review a lot of that stuff I turned down just because it doesn't look like it's good quality did some research on this, found out that it actually looks like it's pretty well built and something that I might be interested in, so I agreed to it. Been using it for probably a month and a half, two months now, and uh, really been happy with this soft rifle case. This is the 42 inch version. I believe they have one on there that's the 38 inch, and excuse me if I'm wrong, it might be 36, but anyway, this is the 42 inch. Just wanted to go through today how I have this set up, kind of some of the gear that I have packed in here. Uh, it'll be different for each time that I take it out. It'll be different for all of you guys, but just want to show you kind of the layout of the pockets, how the inside looks, and just show you guys a quick rundown of this soft rifle case. So first things first, on the front here, you're going to notice that it has these three pockets on the front. The ones on the left and the right have a single buckle on the front, and the main one in the middle has a double buckle. We'll just go through these here, kind of show you what I have thrown in there and give you an idea of what the size is on each pocket. So on this, I just have some of my hand loads for my 6.5 Grindle. Uh, on each pocket, left and right, it has a divider here in the middle. So you could stuff different boxes of ammo, whatever it might be that you need to throw in there. One thing I want to show you as well, these buckles are real nice because you throw whatever you need in there and then you just cinch that down real tight and it secures it, keeps it in place. And then on the inside you've got this retainer clip here. So this bungee system goes across the front of whatever you're throwing in here. Just stuff that in, cinch this down, keeps it locked in there pretty nice, pretty sturdy. And then you do the same with this here. Moving on to the center compartment. Take the double buckles off. Right here you can put whatever kind of morale patch you want. Uh, they sent the American flag with it, so I'll just keep that on there for now. On the center, kind of give you an idea here how big that is. Uh, just got a bipod here, and then I've got some my electronic ear pro. Fits in there real nice, plenty of room. And going over to this side, let's see, this is just stuffed with four different uh, 223 magazines and then a couple 6.5 Grindle magazines. So those fit in there real nice, 6.5 Grindle. And then in the back can fit some 30 rounders. And you'll also notice here on the sides, it's got this nice molly webbing. So on the side here, I just have some iPro connected on the side there. Got a flashlight here. And then on this side, with this being a 42 inch, my 6.5 Grindle, I'm not able to keep the suppressor on it. So I just run my suppressor pouch, keep it right there. And then it's nice and secure here on the outside and I can get it whenever I need to and throw it on water rifle that I'm bringing to the range or outside or wherever I might be going. Moving on here, we've got typical carry handle. Good solid hook and loop velcro here holds the two together I really like this I've had some other uh, rifle cases in the past that only had this right here to secure it but you've got this plus you've got more buckles so you can see here these are latched down pretty solid so you get your stuff put in here put your rifles in and you just take these secure it down real tight Go ahead and pop that open and that allows you to get into this back compartment that's on the back side of these three pouches on the front but you're not in to the rifle case yet or where the rifles are stored so we'll unzip this and these three pockets just fold down so on this a nice place to put some ammo if you don't if you're not bringing an ammo case on this just got my plinker 22 pistol suppressed 
you don't have one of those or any 22 pistol, I highly suggest it that's suppressed. On this, I don't have anything in here right now, but you'll see this divider right here. Hopefully it shows up. But this zipper pocket stops right here at this seam. And then on your other side, you've got a larger one. Same zipper, but it runs all the way to this same divider. Throw whatever you need to in that. Uh, carry your tax stamps for your suppressor. Carry your uh, data book for your rifle. Uh, let's see, go ahead and fold this up. This company also sells these in several different colors. Uh, you got a lot of solid colors and then you've got a bunch of different type of camos. Get on there and take a look at them. Now we will, well first let me show you the back here. So this can get pretty heavy with a couple rifles in it, a lot of ammo. You'll see here you can put an ID card up here, this clear pouch. Stick an ID card. Um, and then on the back here, this is real nice because if it gets heavy, you got this shoulder system. So you would just loosen this. I got it cinched down pretty tight. I'm not going to loosen this up, but it's just like a typical backpack. So you just throw this over your shoulders, cinch that up, and then you're on your way to the range. If you're unloading it from your truck, throw that on your back, and then you can head up to the range. And you've also got another stuff sack or a stuff sleeve right here. Now, move this back over. We will get into to show you the internal storage for the rifles. This is a double, double rifle case. Kind of had to raise the camera up there so you guys could get a good visual of the inside of the double rifle case. But on one side, I've just got my AR pistol here. And then you'll notice this nice, fairly thick divider here that is actually removable. You've got Velcro down here and then it buttons in as well. So it's in there pretty solid. Velcro and buttons. I've seen some other ones where it's only Velcro down here. And then on the other side, I just got my 6.5 Grindel here. And then I just threw my suppressor cover case in here and it can ride around loose. But that's 42 inches. Fits a couple ARs just fine. Your longer bolt guns are not going to fit in here if you've got longer barrels on it. But pretty much any AR-15 is going to fit in here. That's that guys. Pretty solid case. Pretty happy with it so far. You guys take a look at the link down below. Read some comments on it. Read some reviews on it. See what you think. I've been real happy with it so far. And I think you will too. Any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya.